teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Excellent kick. He's tackled at the 25-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Five wide. Got some open field. He's to the 40. The 50. He's knocked out of bounds at the 38-yard line. Oh, that was one beauty of an option by that quarterback. No question. There was no hesitation whatsoever. Once he saw that hole, he turned it upfield and left everybody in the dust. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 38. Go four, go. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's taken down at the 26. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. Zips it to the back. And he's tackled at the 17-yard line. Second and one. Gets to about the 14-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Go, kill, kill. There's a very impressive open field tackle. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Tackle around the two-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it first and goal. Red two. Kill, kill. Three, nine. Red two. Three, nine. Touchdown, Orange. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 7-0. Kirk, one of the top backs in the country we get a chance to see today. Carter's big playability makes him a threat to score really anytime he touches. It. I love this guy. And let's not forget about his big offensive line. This is a group that really prides themselves in opening up some huge holes for him. It's also going to be difficult to stop him and keep him out of the end zone because you think about it, he's known for his big plays, the home run ability. So if you can limit those big plays, you got a shot at least at slowing him down. And he gets the ball 25, 30 times a game, and he'll probably get that again today. Slings it, and they make the stop around the 45-yard line. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Looks middle, got his back, and he's level at the 34-yard line. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. And he just gets rid of it. the 34-yard line. Second down. Well, Kirk, we saw this kid head to the locker room a little bit earlier with that injury, and now we see he's back on the sideline. That's good news. Looks like he should be able to get back in the action. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. A four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage.
Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Throws into coverage, just picked off. That's a great tackle at the 27. The linebacker here does a good job with his instincts of getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. Syracuse is up seven. Going deep. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Receiver and he dropped it. Jordan was the intended receiver on the play. And that will make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Williams awaits the snap. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. And he's taken down at the 39. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. Well, they're already playing from behind the eight ball, but they have plenty of time to get back in this thing. Great concentration to pull it in. They'll bring him down around the 48-yard line. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Just throws this one away. Over the middle to his tailback. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Try to change the field position with this kick. Syracuse making a bid for an upset here today, Herbie, but do they really have it in them, do you think? Brad, it's, been a, it's a great start by this team. I just can't see them holding up for four quarters. I think eventually you'll see the better team emerge. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Syracuse up seven points. Quick throw, almost intercepted. From their own 18-yard line, second down. He might not be able to get the pass off. And he's going to be sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Third down and 11 coming up here. Ball in the 17. Down at the 24-yard line. Newsom back to return it. He's at midfield. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. 
Flipping is the call, and now they'll have to find a way to make up those yards right here. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Strike to his receiver, no good. Number 15 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. 31's the right. Go! Watch the go! Fires it out. He's at midfield. He's tackled in the open field. Seven yard line. And down he goes at the 29 yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. It's second and 13. Ball on the 29. scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 7-0, Orange. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. He fires. Jarred loose. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. North Carolina is lining up to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. He's taken down at the 25. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Syracuse is up by four. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. That'll make it second and inches. Hey, check Mike 21. Mike 21. Check Mike 21. Kill, kill, kill. Orange green. Orange green. And he's hit immediately. Number 11 on the tackle at the 43 yard line. First down. Focus, defense, focus. Check, check. Green, green. 36. 36. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. Tackle made at about the 45. First down. Seven yard line. Second down. Adams on the handoff. Tackled for a loss. The D line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. He's taken down at the 
the 20-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Syracuse is up four. And he hits him hard at the one-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. I like the call here. Well executed by the offense. You want to be sure you get six points when you're this close to the goal line. Converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 26 yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. Tackles him hard at the 31. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 44. He scrambles. Runs with it, and he's got room. Fumble! Loose ball! It's picked up by the offense. Tackle at the 35. And they will keep the drive alive by recovering their own fumble. This is the eighth play of this drive. Makes it on to about the 23. He heaves it to the end zone. Touchdown. Big play. a beautiful pass and a nice catch. Well, this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire. The quarterback threw the ball perfectly, and again, the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play. And it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes, so kudos to the quarterback. And 
he hits the PAT. A nine-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. So our score, 14-10. And he just got stood up right there. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Syracuse holds a four-point lead. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. He's on the run. And they make the stop at about the 23-yard line. Three yards there on the quarterback keeper. North Carolina is going to have to use their second time out of the hat. Screen pass. He's got his half back. So the offense fails to pick up the first down. The defense is going to head to the sideline with a real sense of accomplishment, knowing that they've just shut this offense down. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. And this one is a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The Tar Heels know, I think, that at some point they just have to do what they do, even if it's not working right now. If they can get it going in the second half, it should really improve the ball game in the offense. Well, the offensive line, I think, also has to be accountable here. Uh, we look so much to our star players, and we always want them to put up big numbers. But to me, the two go hand in hand. When a running back's going to have a great game, the offensive line deserves some credit. When a running back's struggling, you got to look at that offensive line and say, fellas, you got to help me out. We're not going to change or deviate from this game plan. We need to be able to change this game around, and it starts up front with the offensive line. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Flings it. And he's got it. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Big game there for the first down. There was some miscommunication down there by the defense that allowed for that big game. Spikes the ball. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the six. Looks to the end zone, and it's caught. Touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. Boy, that's a big play and a big touchdown for the offense. But the one thing that that play requires is time. The quarterback had time to make a decision to eventually make that long throw for the touchdown. The defense has got to do a much better job of getting pressure on the quarterback and not allowing him to sit back there and make those throws. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Quick strike, and he drops it. From their own 19-yard line, it's third down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. They'll bring him down at the 28.
We've still got a half of football remaining. North Carolina's got a three-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, Dave Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two gangs ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is. And it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, but I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. Wait, 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 don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk, take the second half. Excellent kick. Brought down at the 20. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. North Carolina holds a field goal lead. Caught out in the open. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at about the 35. That's pretty impressive. Accuracy is important, but just as important as having receivers that can make plays. Quick throw. Brought down in the open field. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on it. From their own 47-yard line. It's second down. He lets it fly. It's picked off. It's the junior. So the turnover will once again give the ball back to this offense. That's two interceptions today by this defense. Their coach has to be happy that they're forcing turnovers. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own eight. Quick out to his receiver. Brought down at the 15-yard line. They complete that play-action pass. Good for seven yards. i got to give credit to the receiver here for getting separation from the coverage and making a good catch on the play. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Not much there for the halfback, but he picked up some tough yardage. Well, nothing fancy here. The back did a nice job of putting his head down and getting the first down. Caught over the middle. That's a great tackle at the 24-yard line. Here's the halfback with a first down grab. And he's level at the 38. That makes it first and 10. Quick pass, and down he goes at about the 43 yard line. Fights forward to about the 46. So 
it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He's taken down right around the 48-yard line. He's at the 40, and he is drilled the 39-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. Got a receiver and he dropped it. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. They'll line it up again on third down. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. First down. They come out in a five-wide set. Black five, black five, three, fifteen. Makes it out to about the 29. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That brings up second and one. Green nine, three, nine. Panther two. First and ten. ten. Dog kill, kill. Yellow, yellow three. three. Check, check. Yellow, yellow three. Pass, pass, pass. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the 20-yard line. Second down. He's under some heat. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. point. It was a 14 play, 92 yard drive, and they put up seven points. So the score now, 21-17. Syracuse, the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. to the football away from the first down marker. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. That's a key play to find the open man and keep the drive alive. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's stopped behind the line. Call losses two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. He 
get some steam on that throw. And he's tackled at the 36. Some hard at the 10. That makes it first and 10. Steps up. He gets sacked on the play. That is a loss of six on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. Second down, 15 to go. Ball on the 16-yard line. Three down, three down. 31 to fight. They go. They try to get a head start there. Ball start, offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. it to the back. Can they pull off the upset? Well, we're going to find out as we head into the fourth quarter. Syracuse up by four. Into the fourth quarter now. And we're back to the action. Fires it out. Touchdown! And that's going to give him the lead. So obviously a lot of excitement about that score here early in the fourth quarter, but they've got to get their heads back in it now. We've got a tight football game and a long way to go. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. So an 11-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. Brad, it's a big drive in this game with the offense getting the football late in this game, thinking about a tie, maybe taking the lead. Interesting to see the mindset of this defense. Are they going to be aggressive, or are they going to have more of a bend but don't break mentality, looking not to give up this go-ahead touchdown? That makes it second and time. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. Just throws this one away. From their own 34-yard line. Second down. Five wide. Complete. He's got room. Tackle around the 46-yard line. That's good for a First down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Quickly, and he's got his man, and they make the stop around the 49 yard line. That's a good 
Third and long in the fourth quarter. If the defense gets a stop here, it might be a W. And he's going to come up with a sack. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Williams is waiting for the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Carter's play today, not what we were expecting, but Herbie. And like back in the day at Ohio State, you had to put the ball up sometimes. Well, you have to. I think any great offense has an ability to show versatility. And right now, this team is completely taking away their star, their running back. So, yeah, the quarterback in the passing game have had to step up. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. North Carolina is up by three. So the sack makes this a second and long. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver, maybe every other member of this offense. But the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. And they got it. A defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Jordan is back to receive. chance to put a drive together and who knows maybe they can take the lead both teams realize that when the ball is snapped we're one play away from a very different ball game incomplete and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world well i don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that so it's second and ten all on their own 35 less than two minutes in the fourth quarter He's at the 40. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it first and 10. And he throws it away. It's second and 10. Ball on the 37 yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. Jackson's 
Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. He zips one over to the right. They'll bring him down at the 17. Number 15. First down. He's tackled at about the 15-yard line. Call it a of two yards. That makes it second and eight. We're at play number nine of this current drive. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And a quick throw. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Syracuse will take their first time out of the half. First down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. Under a minute left. Touchdown, and they take the lead. Well, they had to dig deep to score here that late in the fourth quarter and come from behind. And now the question is, can their defense dig in and win it for them? And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 65-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Talk about a pressure-filled situation. Carter's playmaking abilities have gotten to this point, Kirk, and now he's got a chance to put it away. Well, you're talking about one of the most explosive players on this field, and if I'm running this offense, I'm finding any possible way to get the football into his hands. He has the potential of taking the ball to the house anytime he touches the ball. It's pressure-packed moments like this where great players need to step up. From their own 41-yard line, it's first down. Throws out to the back, and he can't hold out to it. He steps up. He gets rid of this one. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The Tar Heels use their second timeout. down 10 yards to go ball on the 48 yard line quick throw incomplete one of his receiver there was just no way anybody could catch up with that pass
that's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one 28 24 orange that's going to do it for this presentation of ncaa football 14 for kirk street this is brad nessler saying goodbye <laughs>